See you now. All right, let's go back Bye. to the story now on the study regarding African-Americans and how they're feeling about the economy. Valerie Coleman Morris, a former CNN anchor and the author of It's Your Money, So Take It Personally, and Michael Davis, a senior vice president at Prudential, which conducted the study, uh, joins us right now from Newark, uh, New Jersey. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning. You know, Valerie, I want to start with you. The unemployment rate for African Americans is has been as high as 13 percent. So explain how so many are feeling good about their financial situation right now. African Americans are feeling good about their financial situation now, as this survey points out, because historically we have always had a very optimistic outlook, even in the worst of times whatever the circumstance. We've always had this sense of tomorrow will be better. And so the optimistic outlook reflects that historic feeling. The outlook is optimistic, but it is based in reality, some things of which Michael will explain in just a moment. But the reality is we still have challenges, but the survey helps people to understand it's never too late to get a financial life, and certainly never too early. So it talks about education, it talks about the needs of being able to have a sound financial future, to educate your children, but not forget about your retirement. You know, right? Michael, um, Agreed. reports usually show that African Americans don't save as much because they spend more helping out family and friends. Uh, so what does this report tell you about the financial priorities in 2013, and how have they changed? Well, the, uh, in the survey data, we saw that the number one financial consideration that African Americans had was paying down debt. That compares to saving for retirement, which was the number one priority for the overall population. What we saw borne out in the data is that African Americans tended to have a focus more on the immediacy of needs. Uh, it could be uh, student loans. It could be bills. It could be other debt that they may have had. So uh, much of a, a shorter-term focus uh, is really important to think, however, in a more balanced way and uh, sort of balancing the longer-term obligations against those short-term needs. Uh, and that's something we certainly encourage. But the data suggested a, a more of a short-term sort of immediate needs focus with respect to those African-American families. And, you know, this is a story that we've covered a few times about how companies have done a poor job of marketing to African Americans. And this report seems to bear that out when it comes to financial services companies. So how do you work to solve that issue at Prudential? Well, first, I think it, it sort of calls for a basic respect and understanding of the community. African Americans are a very important demographic group in the country, both in terms of their buying power and population. So number one is just taking the steps to better understand the community and understand the cultural nuances that make up the Afri African American community. So I think that's step one. But step two is really uh, hiring those people that have that focus, hiring those people that have that appreciation. You don't have to have a member from the community speak to the community. Community, but it just starts with that basic respect, mm -hmm. that basic desire to better understand what the specific needs might be. Okay, and and Valerie, the study helps to do a bit of that. And Valerie, when you wrote the book, yes. uh, did you find from your experiences that African Americans um, were taking less risks now, but might be interested in taking more risks, and that they're now that they're more financially stable? Oh, I think absolutely. And part of it is that they are very concerned about having financial advisors in their life so that the risk is a little mitigated. It's not them just saying, well, let me branch out and try and do whatever. The survey shows that uh, we would like financial advisors to be uh, looking at our community, and it's a good business case for it. African Americans will have $1.1 trillion in buying power by the year 2015. Yeah. Is that not a business imperative? Yeah, we've, we've talked about that a lot, that that buying power is only getting mm -hmm. bigger and bigger. All right, thank you both very much, Valerie Coleman Morris, right. author of It's Your Money, So Take It Personally, and Michael Davis from Prudential Financial. Thank you. Good tips for us all. Debbie? Absolutely. All right, thank you thank so much. You. Thanks for your time. And this is Arise America.